I work for a body shop. You guys looking to get that fixed? Yes. <laughs> this side, this side. Customer, customer. Customer, customer. I'm not kidding. I'm not where? kidding. Where? Where? Right there. Where? Let me see. No, 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 no. I can't. Hold on. <laughs> hey, now he's stuck. Hey, he's mad. He can't do anything. <laughs> Where's the power button? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't. Hey. There we go. There's a poison. Inside of the airbags, there's a poison. It's like zero, 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 zero or some, like, something like that. But that's why the airbag deployed, because of the poison. I think if you, if you press it and pull it, it might work. Pulls what? This beautiful black badge colony was rear-ended, unfortunately. The side airbags blew up, and this car is a total loss. Because the damage on this is over $250,000, and the car is worth about five hundred. dollars Salvage value is about three thirty, three forty. dollars So the insurance company is deciding to total loss it. It's going to go to Copart, and everybody's going to have a bidding war on it because it is a pretty sick colony. But it is going to have a salvage title. So, beautiful interior. It's got the Ford yellow interior with the captain seats in the back. This thing's beautiful. Here's some champagne flutes. We were planning on fixing this. The customer was thinking about buying it back, but they didn't want to keep it at a salvage title. So we're going to trash it. But yeah, the rear end has a significant damage. Front end has some damage. Interior has a lot of damage. So sadly, it's toast. For cop season, for sure, he's gonna pull him over. It looks like two things. It looks like a stolen car, and he just got an accident and hit and run. One or the, one or the other. Oh shit! We fixed it, you guys. Here, they're not fast and fixed cars. The car smoking in the back. Yeah, yeah. Clear my valve. Can you wash this? Yeah, I want to make it nice and shiny. Ceramic coat it. We're gonna do ceramic coat. <laughs> I think if you ceramic coat it, the car will be good again. Yeah, yeah. the airbags will get fixed. <laughs> You guys looking to get that fixed? Yes. My name is Justin. What's up, man? How are you? Good, good. good. So back in, quick estimate, quick estimate. Shit. I tell you what's good, we can trade, we can fix the trunk. The only thing I need is a new bumper. We can press all out, you know what I mean? All body so work. fix it cheap. I tell you what, for around maybe 2,500. Total, that's why, total. 2, yeah, oh, all the airbags are off too. Yeah. I tell you what, twenty five hundred dollars. Press all out. Let's see how much the bumper is. Twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, give me a phone call. Take down my number. Yes, I can text you, right? Yeah, you can text me. I'll send you some pictures over too. The work I do. All right, bro. Have a good day. God bless. Twenty five hundred bucks. <laughs> That's so cheap. You're not gonna get the car back. <laughs> hey, ask him if you can manage the body shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bro, he had a tattoo of f the world on his neck. Hey. <laughs> That's it, that's it. He's like, it's okay, but his face turned red. Dealer. Yes. There's some defects they gotta fix. Alright guys, here we are with
with another brand new 2023 Range Rover. This car is actually bone stock except for our RDB Master piece 24 inch wheels and we have it in low mode right here it looks amazing like i said the rest of it is factory it does have this gray trim all over it, which is nice i would really prefer if this was like silver the bottom trim here is silver i don't know why range Rover does gray here and then silver on the bottom a little bit weird there but still works honestly this customer might do some more, more changes on the body of the car we don't know yet but range rovers stock body stock color with just rdb wheels look incredible Here's another example, like I said, we've been doing Range Rovers nonstop, black on silver brush wheels, incredible. Obviously you can do black wheels, but that's gonna be very standard with the brushed. These wheels, we put all, a lot on Rolls Royces, but as you can see, it looks amazing even on a Range Rover. So if you got a new Range Rover, you have to be ordering RDB wheels. We ship worldwide. Contact us at info at rdbla.com, DM us, Instagram, whatever. We can ship you wheels ready to go, even with tire sensors mounted, ready. So like I said, Hit us up. So this Porsche here, uh, I guess he had a problem on the road and this car is so low, so he actually cracked the body of the car on the complete right side. The fenders are cracked. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna bring it in uh, in a few weeks and uh, we're gonna start the project. The Urus Performante. By now you've seen it on our channel multiple times in the last video. I did an actual review on this car from driving it, to telling you guys all about it and uh, how nice of a car it is. Just like the previous generation, one of my favorites. But now we have something really awesome happening. Like I promised, this will be the first one in the planet, wide body Urus Performante. As you see, this is a 3D printed wide body kit from 1016 Industries. The car was scanned and these 3D printed parts were made and it has, as you can see it's vastly different than the previous wide body it has this vent right here as you can see we were kind of uh, debating if we want to close this or leave it with the stock body line it's got this cutout right here that matches the factory vent because the Urus Performante now has this slick going right there also all this is different right here it has this protruding bumper piece so we made this piece come all the way down through it it does a little design right there and then this rear vent piece was different as well so this was also changed up this is still the factory diffuser right here but this is all going to be changed to the more aggressive version because it is a little bit soft the roof and trunk spoiler are already pretty good so we're probably going to leave those alone it looks really nice and as you can see the door molding which is identical to the generation one years looks really nice and we have another piece coming down here so the side skirt is still factory right there but then let's move over to the front flare which also the main fender one is identical to the generation one but the front is completely different as you guys already know the front shape of the bumper corner is different than the previous so we had to make this piece right here and also the slit that matches also that vent that goes across so now you have this coming out you still have that signature three-piece carbon fiber vent going there and then we are still missing the front lip so front lip is also being developed the hood is going to be identical to the last gen but we're going to take these vents out and integrate them into that hood so that's going to be nice too this design is very weird honestly uh, lamborghini wanted to show off the carbon fiber so they did this paint theme on it it doesn't go with the car in my opinion it's like an oval shape i don't know what they were thinking there but yeah we're super excited to get the wide body going we have the other side printing right now Luis is going to be doing some touch-ups as you can see this is not matching up perfectly so we're going to fine-tune it a bit before it goes to the mold production process but yeah nowadays you can scan a car you could 3d print a kit test fit it see if you want any changes and then make the production mold so very very soon you're going to see this wide body done but let us know what your thoughts on how it looks obviously this is different the back end i think looks really really dope and uh, let us know ah hey don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also if you have any comments good or bad leave it below all right so see you on the next one haha <laughs>